welcome to classes on organic chemistry today's class is on reaction mechanism has in dairy fast beer and it is continuation of class number 9 in the last class i have discussed up to electrophiles and nucleophiles and before starting the reaction mechanism one of the very important crucial point i am going to discuss here very often you will get confused in future which is basicity and nucleophilicity to explain this let me first tell what is base earlier i have mentioned base is nothing but a species having lone pair of electron is called base now what is nucleophile also in the last class i have mentioned nucleophile is a species having lone pair of electron now what is the difference between base and nucleophile both are same a base may be nucleophile and nucleophile may be base now it will be very hard for you to know in which time a base acts as a base and in which times a nucleophile acts as a nucleophile means what is the function of a base in the chemical reaction mechanism and what is function of a nucleophile in a chemical mechanism since bo both base and nucleophile are the same whether they have the same way to react no exactly not sometimes a base may act as a nucleophile sometimes same base may act as a base so a base may act as a nucleophile a base may act as a base on what factors you can decide basing upon which factor you can decide a base will act as a base and base will act as a nucleophile that depends upon a lot of factors but i will tell you on a single one factor upon which you can understand now what let us define what is base and let us uh, explain what is it action in a chemical reaction uh, say it is a base is a state upon which it attack i have already mentioned it is a state it is base now if it is a base then base will donate this pair of electron make available to attach with this and base will donate this pair of electron to hydrogen of the substrate can sequently what will happen base will take up this hydrogen and this is giving group this is leave out with the electron that is main function of base is to extract one hydrogen to take out one hydrogen from substrate mind that the function of if base is a base not nucleophile both base and nucleophiles are the same if base is a base then it will extract hydrogen it will give its lone pair of electron to it and take out that hydrogen from the substrate and that will leave and another function of the base is that whenever base act as a base there will be always an equilibrium they are in equilibrium hence the basicity is a factor where there is equilibrium exist and if equilibrium exist that reaction is thermo dynamically controlled now again question arises if that same base if it acts as a nucleophile what will happen earlier classes i have told you a carbocation am i right so nucleophile this will now give that lone pair of electron to the carbon center reaction center and it will get attached it will get attached so this is the basic difference you see in one time base is extracting one hydrogen and other time base is getting attached as when it acts as a nucleophile this is the main and it is reversible reaction it comes back to its original position 
reversible now it is a single error one directional reaction that gives you this and the rate of this reaction depends its rates rate is dependent on speed of reaction hence it is when speed is attached it is kinetic kinetically controlled this is very simple thing i have mentioned so base will extract hydrogen and nucleophile will attach to the carbocation. It will make bond. It is reversible, thermodynamic control. It is non reversible, it is kinetically controlled. Now, question arises when we can understand a base is a base, and when we can understand a base is acting as a nucleophile. That a uh, lots of factors. I am just giving you very simple one. See here C M means C H three C H three O negative C H three two C H O C H three O. As you increases in this, as you go from left to right, the size of the reagent all are base, all are nucleophile. I am telling which one is stronger, weaker. I will tell. Now you see O negative, O negative, O negative. But the size increases C H three three group, C H three two group, C H three one group. Am I right? So, increasing size. When size increases, basicity increases. Increases, but decreases. What does it mean? Means in the reaction mixture, mixture if you get CH3 O negative, it is base. All are base. All are nucleophile. But in terms of base, in terms of base, what's happen? That is the the basicity increases. But basicity increases in this direction, and nucleophilicity decreases in this direction. Means it is highest nucleophile, highly nucleophile. It is very weak base. Sorry, sorry. Uh, as the size increases, it is better base and weaker nucleophile. If it is stronger base, weaker nucleophile. Now, if in the reaction mixture, CH3 whole thing 3 O negative is there, so it will never act as a nucleophile, it will never attach, it will abstract hydrogen. It will not act as a nucleophile, it will act as a base. Now, if it is this, then in this stage, it will attack the nucleophile, act as a nucleophile, but not extract hydrogen. Just you keep it in your mind. In higher single second year, you will come across with some point. Sometimes you will find that there is some cation. In this cation, you will find nucleophile is not attacking. Nucleophile is taking one hydrogen and double positive sign is uh, beneficious uh, with double bond. Elimination is there. You will find this point just to keep it these things. So, in the reaction type, first of all, uh, in a speedy manner, uh, reaction is I will discuss substitution reaction. Substitution reaction, three type. SN1, SN2, this is nucleophilic substitution, nucleophilic substitution, 1 means unimolecular, 2 means bimolecular, 
nucleophilic substitution in molecular nucleophilic substitution by molecular later on we are coming to this one and another is se electrophilic substitution and number 3 free radical substitution in the first case what is substitution actually first the nucleophile will substitute some atom or molecule from the substrate so in the substitution reaction sn1 sn2 you will first give some example substitution say mind that when aqueous is there largely it is substitution if it is alcohol it is not substitution it is elimination you keep it in your mind in each and every case you will find with some exception but in maximum case it is solved this is one example of substitution reaction what is the answer the answer is substitution means this is nucleophile nucleophile will attack here and that will leave so answer is CH3OH plus Cl negative plus KKCl later on you will find so main fact is that one nucleophiling is substituting something that is nucleophilic substitution there so now question comes so both the cases we have seen this is substitution by nucle nucleophile this is nucleophile so these are nothing but nucleophilic substitution reaction nucleophile if it is substituted by a nucleophile then it is called nucleophilic substitution nucleophilic substitution generally occurs in aliphatic hydrocarbon all single bond generally occurs in saturated hydrocarbon nucleophilic substitution occurs in saturated hydrocarbon first point second point in nucleophilic substitution reaction we have shown two example in out of these two example which one is s1 and which one is s2 so for, <coughs> sorry it is sn2 it is sn1 so we will explain which one is sn2 and which one is sn1 and how we can find out that which goes through sn1 path and which goes through sn2 path sn1 means unimolecular sn2 means bimolecular what is unimolecular if in the reaction mixture the rate of a reaction depends on only on the substrate only on the substrate not on the attacking reagent then it is sn1 now what is sn2 if the rate of a reaction depends on both substrate and attacking reagent concentration then it is sn2 when there is participation of participation of two thing two factor concentration depends upon two factors one concentration of reactant other concentration of um, substrate then it is sn2 and if the rate of reaction depends on only on the concentration of the substrate then it is sn1 so let me take one example and show me the mechanism i will always prefer mechanism what happen here you see here ch
chlorine is a bit electronegative uh, than carbon and it has a tendency to leave but since it is 1 degree carboalkyl halide in first class i told you that 1 degree carboc if it is 1 degree alkyl halide it is not easy for alkyl halide to leave instantly to give carbocation it does not give there is something or some effect which compel it to leave otherwise it can't leave am i right so since it is 1 degree you will never get any carbocation means it will not release out at the instant what happen here nucleophile is there am i right nucleophile is there nucleophile tries to attack the reaction center carbon from back not from front because it is negative it is also negative so in the front side there is a repulsion so it prefer to attack from back so thereby what happen makes a very weak intermediate and that stage is called transition state very short period of time that period is called transition state and instantly instantly it attached finally and chlorine leave out as chloride but you see one thing that hydrogen hydrogen was in the left side it has gone to the one reverse umbrella umbrella has been reversed blown out by the uh, storm you assume it reverse umbrella it is called inversion it is a single step reaction in a one step reaction occurs so it is a single step reaction so the reaction where transition state occurs and attack is preferably from back and product is inverted reverse of this one it is called sn2 mechanism that mechanism sn2 mechanism so criteria of sn2 mechanism is that alkyl halide must be 1 degree and there will be inversion there will be transition state so now what is sn1 nucleophilic substitution unimolecular so here we will take an example of let's see what happens so here in this stage it is 3 degree alkyl halide so in the first step this 3 degree alkyl halide transformed into Three degree carbocation. As earlier I have told, since here chlorine is detached from it only because of that on detachment of the chloride, it has got three degree carbocation and three degree carbocation is stable. I have explained the stability plus three effect is there due to plus three effect. It is more stable. Hence, on losing CHT on leaving CHT, it gives three degree carbon, which is very stable. Hence, it is possible carbocation formation is true. Uh, formation is stable but in earlier cases we didn't get, get any carbocation formation we get transition state because it was in one degree alkyl halide yeah, one degree alkyl halide had it been chlorine had the chlorine been removed then your carbocation would have been one degree h h h and that one degree very unstable it will not favor the formation of carbocation hence the transition state occurs so we have got carbocation here and number two step that nucleophilic attack nucleophile here is oh oh will attack here and will get ch3 whole thing 3 in one step i am i have written this is the answer now what is the difference in one degree we got we got one degree alkyl halide sorry two degree sn2 mechanism we got one degree alkyl halide 
in SN1 we got 3db alkylhalide. In SN1, SN2 we got transition state, but in SN1 we got carbocation formation. In SN2 we got single step reaction, but in SN1 we got two step reaction. Am I right? And in SN2 we get inversion, but here we did not get inversion, but there is racemization. A bit later I am coming what is racemization. Means here inversion and retention, retention is possible and both the products, there is possibility of two products, attack of the nucleophile from front and from back is possible, from up, from below, because carbocation is sp, uh, sorry, uh, on carbon, uh, um, dumbbell shape carbon, positive sign is there. So, attack from above, attack from below is possible of carbon or attack from right or attack from left is possible. So, mind that it would have given two products. One is OH here, in other time OH here, CH3 here, but it is of no use. Both the structure is same and it does not have any difference in the opt reactivity, in the optical activity. Hence, we have written only one product. Mind that if three hand would have been different thing, C2H5, CH3H, say, carbocation is different. So, in that position, if OH is attached with this, say, carbocation, if carbocation, if we took carbocation like this, C2H5, if our carbocation is like this, so we would have written two answer. One answer is OH here. C2H5 here, other answer is OH left C2H5 right because carbon has now four different group or atom attached to this and that carbon is chiral. So, in this case, carbon has three different same groups. So, there is no chirality, it has lost the chirality. So, it is no use of no use to write two product one is right OH and other left OH because it does not have any optical activity, but if it could, if it was like this, so OH when attached would have been a different four groups or atoms element attached to it and that carbon will be carbogenic center, sorry, um, stereogenic center or chiral center and that chiral center has the optical activity, has the ability to rotate light towards right, if or left, if it is OH right, it may have rotated the plain polarized light towards right. If OH is left, it may have the tendency to rotate the light towards left. So, both the products has two different optical activity, one compensated other. If it rotate 50 degree towards right, the to other OH left would have rotated 50 degree towards left. So, finally, it would have no optical activity. That structure is called racemization and that is called racemic. So, in SN2, except this, if it had been cryogenic center, it would have given you recipic mixture in SN1. In entrance exam, very often a question is asked in, in which type of reaction SN1 and SN2 recipic mixture is possible answer in SN1. Hey, if the carbon is chir uh, uh, chir chiral center, otherwise we will write simple one answer. So, So, if you write the differences, what is the differences SN1 or SN2 first, SN1 in this position. So, first of one, it is unimolecular, it is bimolecular, it is alkyl halide reactivity
This is in a nutshell the difference. SN2, it is my molecular reaction. SN1, it is unimolecular reaction. SN2, it is alkyl halide. Alkyl halide type of the rate of a reaction. Rate, rate of the reaction. Rate of that point is on rate. Rate of the reaction is in this way. Uh, methyl alkyl, by alkyl halide means CHCl is more reactive towards SN2 than 2 than 3. But the reaction rate is reverse in SN2 if 3 degree alkyl halide is highly reactive to SN1 and then 2 degree then 1 degree then methyl halide and then rate is dependent on substrate and the concentration of reagent rate is dependent on the substrate and transition state appears carbocation formation occurs predominantly backside attack of nucleophile both back and front side attacks of nucleophile inversion occurs racemization occurs rearrangement product formed rearranged product not formed and formed rearrangement but later on will come sometimes very often in SN1 we will get rearrangement is there. I will take one class on rearrangement because in each and every entrance exam there is a question and possibility of, uh, of rearrangement type. Very often you didn't have the knowledge on rearrangement. I will explain it later on. Rearrangement product is not favored or formed or found in SN2 but rearrangement product very often found in SN1 mechanism. So low polarity of solvent favored and high polarity of solvent favored. If polarity is solvent is water uh, aqueous water then it is SN1 and if it is like alcohol or other types low polar solvent I think and this will favor this one this is in short the difference of SN1 and SN2 so I have explained SN1 and substitution reaction nucleophilic substitution reaction two type SN1 and SN2 and we have taken in a very short manner SN1 mechanism of SN2 and SN1 and also we have shown you the difference and at the very beginning I have shown you the nucleophilicity and basicity nucleophile and base and how base acts and how nucleophile acts. So both base and nucleophiles are nucleophile sometimes base are nucleophile sometimes nucleophiles are base and vice versa and what is the action of these two in the chemical reaction I have shown. Now second time of substitution reaction one is nucleophilic substitution am I right second type of substitution reaction is electrophilic substitution reaction. So, you have already we have defined what are electrophiles. So, electrophiles are the species which are deficient in electrons or the species which have positive charge on it are called electrophile. So, if electrophile comes over the substrate and something is removed from the substrate and electrophile enters not nucleophile, nucleophile, electrophile enters that that substitution is electrophilic substitution reaction. So, in uh, aliphatic compound, aliphatic it is open chain com compound very often there is less applicability of uh, actually this SN1 and uh, E1 and E2 type of reaction. That type of reaction is in open chain compound, open chain um, um, organic compound or hydrocarbon, open chain hydrocarbon we find and very often this type e, e, we found in aromatic hydrocarbon. Hydrocarbon means in types, types benzene type, aromatic type of carbon. 
E SC1 types are of very rare use. Um, um, sometimes you will find it in the um, uh, uh, Gignard reagent types of reactions. So we will not show it very often. This has low, low, uh, less applicability in organic chemistry. In but SE2 type of that is uh, generally doesn't mention in the book. Uh, the all type of substitution reaction which occurs in aromatic hydrocarbons are of maximum are of uh, substitution reaction and electrophile substitutes some hydrogen from benzene ring uh, or some chlorine sometimes uh, uh, sorry hydrogen from benzene rings that is called electrophile substitution and that type of substitution reaction are called SE2 type of substitution reaction. So I am I am keenly interested to explain substitution reaction type actually two actually two you did not give anything it is actually two aromatic compound say let me take one example and you will find it very easy to know and this is the your beginning and if you can understand these things you can very easily explain each and everything uh, you can write the reaction now the electrophilic substitution reactions we, we, we have taken the examples of benzene plus CH3 Cl in presence of anhydride aluminum chloride. What is the product? We will explain the product with the help of the three step mechanism of electrophilic substitution reactions in generations of electrophile, uranium ion formation, and deprotonation. Now, first of all, generations of electrophile. How electrophile is generated? So, your attacking agent is this, it is substrate. Am I right? So, the attacking agent CH3 Cl, aluminum chloride is AlCl. Am I right? I have drawn in this way to show that aluminum is a Lewis acid electron deficient species because 2, 2, 2 means there are 3 pairs of electrons. It should have 8 electrons. Am I right? That's why it is electron deficient. So, it takes out this chlorine with this pair to cover up its deficiency. So, first second we get CH3 plus plus LCL4 Cl4 and it becomes unstable. So our main motto is to generate electrophile and this is plus species CH3 plus it's electrophile. Now second of, uh, step is aranium and aranium ion formation. So aranium ion formation means this is arene. Am I right? So somewhere we will get some carbonium, some positive side, positive side in this. The first step is this. So, second step is in the benzene, in the benzene, this electrophile, benzene will try to attack this. This is mobile electron, pi electrons are there. Is it not it that pi electron density is moved? Uh, the attack appears in this way. So, whenever you give this arrow, it means it is attached to this one. So, So, these two bond will remain same and whenever it is attached, we will attach in this way for our convenience to show hydrogen because in each and corner there are six hydrogen. We have shown one hydrogen for our convenience to explain the uh, mechanism of the reaction. So, you see this carbon is electron deficient, so it has become now plus. So, whenever this will become plus, so resonance occurs. This bond will incline toward this to satisfy this positive charge. So now for seven, yeah. This will remain in this position, and this will come here, and this two will also remain in the same position. On the other hand, this has become plus electron deficiency center. Am I right? So again, to satisfy this positive charge, this bond will be withdrawn in this way. So for seven here is. This bond would run here and is remain in its position CH3 H. Now there is positive sign. So these three are your resonating structure. Resonating structures. So first of all, in the final step, you just take this iridium one, iridium ion. So, as it is, am I right? This is plus, and the third step was deprotonation. There are lots of hydrogen as proton. So, this will be 
deprotonated, it will lose out. So this bond we, do, we don't have, we get final product. It is toluene, this is toluene and H plus. So finally what happened, there is H plus, so last part is LCL4 was there, ALCL4 and that was unstable and this H plus when reacts with LCL4 that gives one chlorine from here attached HCl and ALCL3 and that LCL3 was used as a catalyst in the initiation of the reaction and it will always again come back to its original position. This is the mechanism of electrophilic substitution reaction. Now, now I will take some examples. One is now see we will explain substitute, electrophilic substitution reaction. We have shown the mechanism, and if, if this mechanism will be applied to all these type of reaction, one is halogenation. See, I will not show the mechanism. The mechanism I have already shown you. Uh, this is benzene plus halogenation, chlorine and bromine, AlCl3 or FeCl3. You can write FeCl3. Am I right? So, FeCl3 electron deficit again, this FeCl3 will take one protein or bromine, if it is Cl2 take one protein and other protein will be plus, this is electrophile, just plus will enter here. This is called chlorination. So, chlorobenzene, what is nitration? This benzene plus nitrating mixture, I have already mentioned in many classes, nitric acid and concentrated sulfuric acid. This gives you nitro group and nitro will be plus this is electrophile and that electrophile will enter in the benzene grid. It is nitro benzene. What is sulfonation? Again, benzene when react with concentrated H2SO4, it gives sulfonic group will be attached and this is benzene sulfonic acid. What is alkylation? Just I have shown you the reaction mechanism with the help of this CH3Cl and hydrate aluminium chloride then aluminium chloride will take out this Cl and this will become CH3 positive and this positive is electrophile in entire half it is alkyl part that's why it is called alkylation and that is given by Friedel cup and it is called Friedel cup alkylation so we will get toluene and if it is acylation so CH3COCl that group is called acyl group, acyl group and anhydride, anhydride aluminium chloride is there. So you will get COC. It is NSO and very important reagent uh, compound you will get in second year. So each and every one follows the first type of the reaction mechanism which I have shown. If you know the mechanism, you can write the answer very easily in chlorination, halogenation, nitration, sulfonation, and alkylation, acylations. All this can be done with the help of the first reaction mechanism I have shown you. One is radical substitution reaction. Three radical substitution reaction. So with the help of best thing, I will explain with the help of methane. CH4 plus chlorine UV light or H nu. Let's see what is the answer. We will explain the answer with the help of mechanism. First one is initiation and second step is propagation and third step is termination. So let's see how it works. Methane and chlorine. First step is initiation. We are talking about first step, initiation. Chlorine in presence of UV light, it backs up into free radicals. So it is initiation and second step is propagation. It will propagate. The reaction will proceed. How the reaction proceeds? Let's see. Step 2 is propagation. 
is propagation. So here this is your methane. This reaction starts with this free radical already generated in the reaction. So this is half and this is half. This two dot will give one bond, HCl bond you have already got. And here you have got CH3 dot. CH3 dot plus HCl. So in the second step, it is fast and it will propagate. This will come in this position. So you see, this is this. First Cl dot, second step Cl2. Second step again Cl2. We will write Cl2 in this way. So this is half arrow and half arrow will get this will get give you a bond so a bond has prepared formed with HCH H H and CH CH bond has sorry CL CL bond has prepared and CL bond so we have got already CHCL this will further come here come over here H C H you take chlorine below and hydrogen here, here chlorine dot, here Cl2, again chlorine dot. Am I right? So make it half and half. This makes a bond HCl and goes out as H, C, H, Cl dot plus HCl. And next, first of all, this again will come over here. H, C H C L dot plus here C L dot here again will come C L two. Am I right? So this and this answer is H C H C L C L plus C L dot. So in this way you see. First of all, there is one hydrogen is removed and one cylinder is chlorine entered and second another hydrogen removed another chlorine entered in the next step another chlorine removed three cl will enter next last hydrogen will remove all chlorine will be cl for cl4 am i right in this way it will go so this step is called propagation now what is terminus it is very simple step Termination step is it will terminate, it will finish up, end up. So, termination is already in the reaction mixture, you have got somewhere I have replaced out methyl free radical am I right? So, a lot of methyl free radicals are there in the reaction mixture. So, that two reaction with chlorine uh, methyl free radical may combine to give you CH3. Or CH3, another Cl dot has already been prepared in the reaction, that CH3 and Cl may combine to give you CH3 Cl. So, in the reaction entrance exam, sometimes you are asked that in the fluorination of methane, sometimes ethane is prepared. How can you explain? Because you will tell in the reaction mixture, uh, some uh, C, H3 dot molecules already present in the reaction mixture. This, when these two C, H3 dot combine, that gives C, H3 Cl. This is the explanation why ethane, some amount of ethane is also formed in the fluorination of methane. So, this is first type of the free radical substitution reaction with methane. Now, let me explain another type of, uh, this is protonation first type. Now, protonation second type. Sorry, free radical substitution of second type. Second type. How it occurs? Second type is annihilation reaction. Annihilation means when acid comes, when alkyl is entered in the benzene ring, we told alkylation. When acyl CH3 CO group entered, we told acylation. When in the benzene ring, other benzene ring enters or combines or connected, then it is called aryllation. Benzene is aryl, other benzene aryl, aryl is aryllation. So now let us see how aryllation occurs. Just we are writing one hydrogen, no harm.
the medium is alkaline so first second HCl is formed and it evolves out. So, in the reaction mixture, what we get is 2 benzene ring entered and nitrogen gets evolves out. This is called diphenyl, diphenyl, diphenyl compound, and this reaction is called G O M B E R Z, Gombert's reaction. And you will find this reaction in second year, two benzene ring uh, combined to give diphenyl. And that is a very important compound, again you will get in second year, this is benzene diazonium product. Benzene diazonium product. Benzene diazonium product. Benzene diazonium product, this is uh, sometimes uh, written in this way, this is plus and this is minus. Am I right? So, this reaction will get, get diphenyl, though uh, it seems to be very simple, but it follows through periodical uh, substitution reaction. That's why I have shown you uh, this reaction. So, what is the third type of reaction? Third type of reaction is acylation. Uh, sorry, allylic bromination. It is another type of the reaction which is periodical substitution reaction. So, let me draw. This is vinyl and this carbon is allyl. This is allylic carbon. Allylic carbon. So, NBS. It is very often given in entrance, sometimes in your class exam also, on the level, any type of exam, NBS is given. This NBS is N bromo succinyl. N bromo succinyl. And its structure is not given, always NBS is given NGS. CH2. C of C H two C of N B R. It is never given in this way. So N bromo succinimide is nothing but this N bromo succinimide. There is already a bromine. You must know that is N bromo succinimide. So one bromine will enter here, and that bromine will enter in the allylic carbon. One hydrogen from will be from there. That carbon will be replaced by that bromine. That bromine. So your answer will be bromine C H two. CH double bond CH2. So you see there is no addition. When double bond is there, very often we see that bromine enters in the double bond, halogen enters in the double bond, either here or here, there to enter bromine here, here in this way. But here it is uh, exceptionally we see not addition but in substitution reaction. You never imagine this that there will be substitution reaction and that substitution will occur in the allylic position of the carbon of uh, hydrogen. Allylic uh, hydrogen, uh, allylic hydrogen from allylic. Carbon. And that is that follows through and uh, theoretical substitution reaction. So it is another example where you will never think you very often you would have entered bromine here or here anywhere in the double bond to make it a single bond saturated compound. You will get it is very often known to you all. But yeah, besides this, we see there is a substitution reaction, which is a very uncommon reaction. So very often you see and always ask in the entrance exam and sometimes in the class exam. Next one is Substitution at high temperature. High temperature of about 500 degree centigrade. 500 degree centigrade. So, the, you see, again you take chlorine. Mind that if it is given 550 or 273 you add in Kelvin it is around 700 degree Kelvin or more than 700 degree Kelvin. For 7, you never enter chlorine here and here. Again, there will be substitution in allylic position. Allylic position. So here chlorine CH2, CH double bond, CH2, and this is again substitution, not addition at very high temperature we get this one. So, you may ask that whether we will get any addition product of chlorine, yes, at this temperature we get some addition product, some chlorine enters here also to be giving single bond bonded compound with halogenation, but at this high temperature that becomes reversible, the compound already formed with addition product with chlorine, again reverts back to the original position, that is why we do not get uh, addition product of chlorine here and here, but we get this. 
हमारे सौ एंड आज बात लास्ट पार्ट नोट लिस्ट इस ऊर्ज रिएक्शन यू हैव गोट दिस वन बट यू डोंट नो पार्ट इज़ द मैकेनिज्म ऑफ़ दिस रिएक्शन दैट्स व्हाई आई एम टॉकिंग अबाउट द मैकेनिज्म जस्ट वेरी सिंपल वे आई विल शो यू ब्रोमीन ट्वाइस सोडियम दैट डाइटर वेरी ओके यू नो इट आई हैव ऑलरेडी एक्सप्लेन इन द हेलो हेलो जन को एम हाइड्रोकार्बन पार्ट एल्काइल हेलाइट एगेन एल्काइल हेलाइट इज रिपीटेड टू मोलिकुलर एल्काइल हेलाइट एंड इन प्रेजेंस ऑफ सोडियम आई हैव गिवन टू एन ड्राइटर इज द सिग्निफिकेंट सिग्नल दैट इट इज अ वुड्स रिएक्शन सो व्हाट्स हैपेंस दिस टू टू एल्काइल हेलाइट वी अरेंज एल्काइल हेलाइट रिवर्स इट एल्काइल हेलाइट इन टू सोडियम सो ट्वाइस एनेबिया सीएसटी सीएसटी विल अटैक इन दैट एलके सो टू से Seems to be very simple. Answer is this LK. We know we get even number LK. Two even number. One one LK will let one carbon, one carbon, two carbon, two carbon, two carbon, four carbon. Always even number. Not odd number reaction is not. It is the drawback of wood reaction. We never get odd number at LK in the case of wood reaction. So mind that uh, it, it seems to be very simple one, but the mechanism is again through periodical substitution reaction. So all this. Methane with chlorine, periodical substitution, acylation of reaction, two benzene combines, again periodical substitution, allylic bromination, and bromosuccinamide, NBS, again periodical substitution at very high temperature addition of chlorine is in allylic position, again it is periodical substitution reaction, Wood reaction, we get alkane from alkyl halide and sodium metal in dry ether, again periodical substitution reaction. I have shown you five parts of the periodical substitution reaction reaction substitution reaction uh, to sum up we have uh, we have seen that it is nucleophilic nucleophilic substitution reaction next one is electrophilic substitution reaction and third one was Free radical substitution reaction and nucleophilic substitution reaction. Nucleophilic substitution reactions are of two type: SN1, SN2. I have already explained. Electrophilic substitution reaction was U1, U2. It is open chain aliphatic carbon, open chain aliphatic uh, involved with Grignard. Reaction, say R M G X, M G X is removed, R negative plus M G X positive, and here if you you acid, so that negative and positive this gives alkene. So this is the reaction of type E1 reaction. Am I right? E1 reaction and. Electrophilic substitution reaction. I have shown you a lot of reactions of aromatic compound, yeah, nitration, carbonation, protonation. All type of reactions are E2 type of reaction. It is in aromatic ring, aromatic ring, aromatic compound. And chemical substitution reaction. Again, we have shown you uh, methane plus chlorine in UV light, and then we have shown you aryation, aryation. L A T I O N, Bumbert reaction. Then we have shown you um, allylic bromination. Then we have shown you at high temperature of about 500 degree centigrade. Next we have shown you woods. Reaction. So, in a nutshell, this is all about the substitution reaction in. Um, this is all about the substitution reaction in aromatic or aliphatic, uh, aliphatic hydrocarbon uh, in the general organic chemistry. Uh, hope we have understood the class with your uh, utmost interest. In the next class, I will come with um, elimination reaction, and hope you can uh, will understand. You will understand with better.
how will you um, uh, in the next class I will I will um, come with elimination reaction and hope you can understand you, you can find a lot of clues from elimination reaction thanks a lot for watching the class please subscribe and share the class to enable the others to avail the opportunity of see the class